In this lesson, I will explain to you about nested conditions. First, I will explain to you, then I will give you a few examples in order to understand the nested conditions. So, nested conditions allow us to make sub decision by indenting conditional statements underneath other conditional statements. So, now what is the meaning of this? That nested condition allow us to make sub decision. If mean that if the first if condition is true or first condition is satisfied, then the system will evaluate the next if condition. If the second is true, then the system will move to third if condition and so on. In nested, see the word is nested. In nested condition, it's up to you according to your coding, according to your choices or scenario. You can write down three times, four times, five times if statement. Same thing for else. But you have to write down like this, indenting first if, then second, then third if you have to write down here. If you have one more if, then you have to start from here. And then last else, you have to write down in no indentation. So if the first if condition is false, the system will evaluate the last else. So simply you can say the first if and the last else, these two are related. If the first if condition is true, the system will evaluate to the next if. Same thing, if the second if is true, system will move on to the third if condition. Right here, we are allowed to make sub decision. Now, what is the meaning of sub decision? Here, I have set an example, simple example for you that dress under score is style. Suppose you are going to buy a dress, C for cotton dress and S for silk dress. And if you say you are going to buy cotton dress, maybe I will ask you what color you like. So, this is the sub decision. If you will say I like green color or blue color, then further I can ask you questions. So now we are going to discuss this with the help of example. And do not think that this coding is difficult. It is very easy. If you are using in this example, I am going to use two time if if. So two time if you are go using two times if, then you have to write down two time else as well. Right here, first is the variable. You have to write down variable and then if condition. If that if condition is true, then you can write down again one more variable and second if condition, right? So I will show you dress underscore style is equal to input C for cotton dress and S for silk dress. My first if condition is if dress underscore style, this variable dot lower parenthesis. Now what is the meaning of this lower? It will remove the case sensitivity. See here I have used the letter C and S. When I will execute this, the system will ask if I will if I will write down capital C or a small C, I will get the correct answer. But if I will remove this lower, this word and parenthesis, if I will write down capital C instead of this small C, it will the system will not evaluate. It will evaluate the last else. So I will show you all these things. And here I have used one equal to sign. One equal to sign means we are assigning a value. But when you want to compare, then you have to use the two equal sign. So my first if condition is if is dress underscore is style dot lower equal to C, which is cotton dress. Right. Then dress again, I will make one variable. What should be the color? G for green, B for blue. If it is green, second if condition print this else this so here i will show you when i will execute when i will run this code this box will come up right and i have told you whatever you will write down in the this parenthesis in input prompt same will come up here c for cotton dress and s for silk dress if i will write down only s s for silk dress so see the system will start from here evaluate from the first if condition if dress underscore style dot lower I have set here C, cotton dress, but what I have written here S, which is false. So the system will evaluate the last line because if the first if condition is false, 
system will directly go to the last else, else print silk dress is not fine so see i will show you here silk dress is not fine for me right if again execute it here i will write down c now c right so again system will start from here if dress underscore style dot lower is c yes this is true i am going to write down then the system will ask you okay what should be the color i i will show you here see this is true because first if condition is true then the system will move to the second if what should be the color if i will say g right it will print i want a green dress if i will print if i will write down b it will print i want a blue dress see here i want a green dress one more time i will write down c right which is true first if condition is true and then it will move g or b this time i will say b so i want a blue dress so in nested conditions we are allowed to make sub decision one more one more example the same example but here i have put three times if and three times else only to show you that you can write down three times four times according to your situation so same example suppose here if i will write down s which is for silk and the first if condition is false because i have set it c here so the system will directly evaluate the last silk dress is not fine but if if i will write down c which is first condition is true if dress underscore style equal to c this is true system will ask me the second question i will show you second g for green and i said it is okay then g if it is g l for light green d for dark blue so this if i will say g the system will ask me the third question okay i say l if it is l print i like i like light green if i will write down d it means dark blue so c i like light green so these are the nested conditions okay one more example here i have made burger underscore type input is c for cheeseburger or b for beef burger what you want right if if there are two if if i will say b b for beef burger the first if condition is if burger underscore type dot lower is equal to c means c for cheeseburger so this is false because i have mentioned b here run it and see so the last the system will evaluate the last your beef burger is ready but if it is true see i will show you here if it is i will write down c the first condition if burger underscore type is equal to c which is true the system will ask me the second question okay c for cheddar m for mozzarella what type of cheese you want i say m and evaluate it your mozzarella cheese burger is ready so in nested condition you can write down two times three times or four times it's up to you if and else last and very easy here i have set three numbers 100 200 and 300 and i will start it from 100 system will start number is 100 system will is evaluate from the first if if number is greater than equal to 200 and number is 100 which is false right because number is greater than it says if the number is greater than 200 no it means if the first if condition is false system will evaluate the last one see here that will print number is 100 now we will make it 200 so again the system will start from first if condition it will not start from the second if or third if or else always the system will start from the first if if number is greater than equal to 200 yes it is equal to 200 not greater than but this condition is satisfied the system will move to the this if number is greater than 200 no this is false because it is equal to so print if it is greater than 200 print this otherwise this so see 
200 will come now make it 300 so again system will start from here if number is greater than equal to 200 yes it is greater than 300 first if condition is okay is true system will move to the second if if the number is greater than 200 yes second if is also true so print this so evaluate and see number is 300 so what you have learned in nested conditions that nested conditions allow us to make sub decisions and how you have to write down the nested condition in this order you cannot write down if and second if yes and third if no it should be indented again if any point is not clear you can ask me subscribe to my channel Simon academy and thanks for watching